do the rib song. I get the rib condom so you feel the vibrations. Rib condom, you feel the erection. Rib condoms, hey, hey. get the satisfaction tonight. Yep. Yep. She gonna bust the nut tonight. Remix. Welcome to the Sunday Scoop. We're here live at the Laugh Factory Chocolate Sundays Comedy Show. It's Sunday, July 9th? 10th. 10th. July, July 10th. 10th. Yes, yes, yes. And we're here coming to you with another episode. And with me, I got my guest co-host, Kelly Scott. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing tonight? So excited welcome. to be here. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. And joining us, we have Shabazz, Playtime Ward, and Morgan J. So just let's let's hit these bios real quick. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Read mine first. One I already read his. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm we're gonna go. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with with, uh, with Morgan first. So we got Morgan J is a comedian and musician who's appeared on NBC and Comedy Central and won first prize for best comedy novelty song in the international oh. songwriting competition. Oh damn. Okay. Which received over 16,000 submissions. Bam, bam, bam. Morgan's Dope. originally from New Jersey. He started his career in NYC, where he attended oh. the Tisch School of the Arts. Did I send this full bio to you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I sent like three sentences. Is it Tisch or Tisch? Tisch, Tisch. Yeah. Tisch School of the Arts. I to and uh, Morgan J has garnered millions, not hundreds of thousands, millions, millions. of views on fo- and followers across all his social media platforms. So TikTok, YouTube. Instagram, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, all, all the awesome. Mostly TikTok, but yeah, yeah. mostly TikTok. Mostly yeah, TikTok. before yeah. before you hopped on, you were like, yeah, yeah. I got to film my. Set. I got to film everything. I everything. do the whole thing, the whole setup. Perfect. So, okay, yeah. and then I'll let you take this one. Okay, and then we got Shabazz Playtime Ward. Oh, yeah. He's been doing stand up for about eight years now, and is part of a comedy troupe called The Wildest in Comedy. That's it. Wow. <laughs> You're originally from, I don't want to butcher the name of where you're from. Uh, Generate, Louisiana. Generate. Uh, okay. uh, he's known as the stepdaddy of comedy yeah. and has been doing, and has a comedy special coming out soon. Oh. A stepdaddy is better than no daddy. Come on. Hey, you know, now. <laughs> preach on. Am I lying, though? <laughs> from it, you know, from experience, it's true. It's fact. That's true. So, stepdaddy is better than no daddy. That's right. Stepdaddy and a daddy. Right. Yeah, I told you to read my shit first. So Coming in, um... Uh, Arsenio Hall. Um, just a couple of things to throw out there. Credits. I oh, made that up. Credits? I made that up, but I just had. I was trying to no. imagine. Those are future credits. <laughs> future credits. Yeah. Future credits. Family it's two. coming. Yeah. It's coming. Um, so just a few housekeeping rules. Um, as you know, we're getting this channel started on the Sunday Scoop. So we need you to like and subscribe. If you want to watch more interviews with comedians that are in the scene, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow us on TikTok, Instagram, all of the socials. Um, we need your help, we need your support, and we need your love. So please do that. And um, yeah, let's just hop into it. What's well, up? don't just follow. Subscribe. Interact. Like, and you make know, sure be... to turn those notifications on. Oh, bing, 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 bing. Social that media bell. pro. Yeah. Hit that Absolutely. Bell. Absolutely. Get the alerts. So I feel like since we're on the topic of social, let's just hop into it. Like, yeah. What is your relationship with social media? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you, do you feel like it's... To grind, do you, uh, what are your thoughts? I got, I got a love hate relationship yeah. with it. I like it because you know you grow your followers, can make money over there and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. at the same time, it consumes a lot of your day if you if yeah. you let it. Like I'll be writing something and then I just so I write for ten minutes. Trying, I want to write for hours, be ten minutes, and I hop on my phone. And for you know, I didn't off my phone for two hours, mm. and then you know, it just me- it messes with your with your thinking yeah. and your. No, it's true. Yeah, like for me. I've been doing the TikTok for about two years now. I mean, for my career, it's kind of changed my life altogether. You know, I sell tickets off of it. Um, it's bumped yeah. up all the numbers across YouTube on Instagram. But, you know, every show I do, now I bring a camera, I bring a microphone, a live mic. Yeah. So I can't just come to a show and kind of hang out and have a good time. I'm like thinking I got to get a good tape, a good tape, a good tape. I need content, 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 mm. content. Um, so it's, it is definitely like... Um, 
I think overall it's a positive thing. I think for creators and, and artists, they kind of have a, a little bit more control over their own career. Absolutely. And yeah. there's definitely tools that, you know, there's all there's a lot of, just like stand-up, there's like a lot of technical stuff that you could do on stage that you just know they'll make you better stand-up. Right. And the same thing with uh, social media, just little things that you can do. do not have to be good. You just got like, Know how to title something. Know how to when to post it. How to post it. Like little technical things. It all helps, you know. Yeah. So. I mean, honestly, like social media is why we're all sitting at this table. Um, That's right. Yeah. It really it, it gives you a lot of power to you know branch out and show yourself to more people than you normally would be able to because you do a show in front of you know two hundred people if you're lucky mm -hmm. and you know maybe they'll tell somebody about you but if you do some social media content that goes viral you be oh, seen yeah. by millions yeah, of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the other thing I'll say about that that is is even if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of followers or subscribers if you even got like a thousand just put, just put in perspective like if a thousand people are in a room watching you like yeah. in person That's what it is, yeah. you know what i mean so it's don't, don't uh, for people who are like i can't get my numbers up mm -hmm. even if you got 100 200 like those are people who are riding for yeah, you they care about you you know yeah. what i yeah, mean they care about yeah. You. yeah so that's how i feel about you feel it. like the conversion rate you said you use it to, to do ticket sales right yeah. so like what has it been in terms of like the conversion rate of people that follow you to people that pull up to the shows and support? Yeah, for me, for me, it's like um, let's say I post and like say a hundred people might say uh, might see it or whatever, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, out of a hundred might say I'm about to pull up, and maybe 35, 40. That's, that's still not bad. That's, that's, not, not, yeah, bad. that's, not, that's not bad though. Yeah. yeah, and that's just like a small number. Yes. All you yeah. did was grab your phone, and that's it. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's it. It, it depends on how long I have to promote. Um, you know, um, when I do my one-nighters and I'm headlining around the country, I'm averaging about 100 tickets a show, which for somebody like me, I'm, I'm virtually like an unknown comedian. But that's like pretty... And, but they're only giving me like Wednesdays. These are like Wednesdays and Sunday nights. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you get 100 people to come out on a Wednesday night, that's dope. That's the, cl the club is like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? like Because yeah. you know, those, those are like the off nights. Yeah, because those days, if you're 100 not in there, that club will probably have two or three people or nobody. Or they'll be closed. Yeah. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you still bring them some type of business. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends on how long uh, I get to promote for. Um, I'm trying. I'm, I'm working with a new promoter who's like working with a new strategy about like targeted ads on Facebook so we're going to see I got a couple of dates coming up so we're going to see how those work mm -hmm. so we'll try it out you know what I mean that's amazing um, I don't want to yeah. get messy but who has the most followers at the table I don't know I mean on TikTok I got 615,000 oh, that's it you can start right there <laughs> <laughs> just knock it off no it's no so, but it's all relative I mean I got friends yeah. with millions and millions of followers so, yeah you know what I mean so like yeah I and it's really interesting you meet people who are like 25 or under and they see you have a blue check mark or something they think you're famous. Yeah. And it's like, no, dude, I know some famous people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. You know what I mean? That blue check is... But you have, like, 600,000 followers. Like, that's a, that's a that's, lot. Let's, can we just... Stop. That's good, man. That's work. I mean, that's you know, hard work. It is, it is constant, uh, you know. But the downs are, are tough, too, because there'll be times where you're in a slump. You just oh, you're sure. lose. I've lost, like... I mean, at one point, I had I lost I had lost like twenty thousand followers on TikTok. That's crazy. From a from a video that you posted. No, or? just like over the course of a month, it goes it will go like this. Yeah. You know, but as the numbers get bigger, like if, if you if you meet somebody with ten million followers, they lose a hundred thousand in the course of a week. Yeah. So the numbers just kind of it depends, you know. So it's gonna feel like a lot, but your number, you know. Mm -hmm. Shabazz, uh, do you do sketches? Yeah, I do sketches, yeah. sketches, stuff like you that. Do? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. YouTube too. Yeah, Does, do you get recognized? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you mad? I feel like there was a little shit. I don't know. No, I, no, shady. no, 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 I'm no it's, no, it's, it's funny. I'm laughing okay. because I do get recognized because um, yeah. the, okay. the sketch I did, it's called I Got Hands with my, with Dean. Hmm. And you mean so, Dean, last name Dean Will. Okay. Yeah, and so we was uh, I was in Detroit, and I was just eating. And it's my first time ever in Detroit. And so I was like, hey, man, I ain't trying to interrupt you or nothing like that. But uh, you, you the little the, the fighting dude from the I Got Hands video. And so now I'm, I start I start blushing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you started blushing. Yeah, that's, that's me, man. Oh, man, I, I enjoy your food, man. I, I love y'all series, man. When y'all going to finish? Like, because we stopped, like, at five. But we need, like, to put out two more. Mm -hmm. And he was like, when y'all going to finish it? Like, when you going to watch the finale? But so, yeah, I just... Like, the, the social media is powerful for me. But isn't that interesting? Like, I don't know. I'm not, like, a TV household name we're not like how, uh -huh. and then people will still recognize yeah. you yeah but that's All that's what's media. crazy mm. and we don't have that's no security crazy. and we don't have no security, oh, no. We don't have no security. and they think <laughs> you and they think you popping too don't yeah. you think they, they think that you oh you somebody they yeah. do they yeah, do yeah they still think you popping and it's really cool sometimes they buy you lunch 
We love yeah. that. Well, my yeah. girlfriend's we always that. like, you know, just don't get anybody pregnant on the road, you know? Yeah. We love that. You know, we like that about her. Yeah. It's just the pregnant, don't get She's them like, pregnant. don't get nobody pregnant, gotta, 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 but gotta. live your life. You can rock out. That's wild. Yeah. So, y'all, is open? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On 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 your end, we'll close on it. No, it's it, we have a we have a license to cheat basically. Okay, it's All right. like how does that work? Essentially, we just don't talk about it. You know, it's like Wait, she, you you said on the on the road. Um, so that yeah. means not at home, right? Right, right, right. Well, basically, like she knows people are sliding into my DMs and don't. She's like, no, but real talk, she could do what she wants to. Maybe she has, but we don't talk about it. So question, okay. so cancel. Can you cheat? Like, so you live in LA? We live in LA, yeah. So, can you cheat in LA or no? Do you guys live together? We don't. We live like a mile apart. Okay. So ah. yeah. she, she walking, lives walking, close walking. enough to be able to look out the window yeah. and make sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. you know. yeah. Don't worry about it. Every time we, we don't need to talk anymore. When you get caught up, that's what you start doing. You start doing that shit. <laughs> if y'all don't know, he plays the guitar, y'all. There's a guitar. Look, it, it's, it's a thing. Wait, here we go, here we go. Sultry sounds. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't gotta talk about it. We don't need it. We gotta keep our mouth shut. I don't wanna fuck this up for anybody. <laughs> he said, you know, edit that, you know, edit that part out, you be all right. <laughs> no, we, no, but uh, but it's it's also complicated because she's a makeup artist, so there Ooh. might there might be times when like she'll have to because you know the cities that film are you know New York, Atlanta, Vancouver, Los Angeles, sometimes Chicago, mm -hmm. and she might have to go to a city for two or three months to work on a TV show, and it's like you know we just got to be adults about it. And there's a lot of there's a lot of couple like a lot of famous couples are doing that. I mean, I mean look at look at look at Jada and Will. There's nothing wrong with that relationship, right? It's it's <laughs> healthy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that There's relationship. There's nothing wrong with that relationship. Will is being held that's hostage. A, that's right. No, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I wouldn't use a healthy word, but it's no, it's, no. It's, but you know, I, I'm just I'm making a joke. But there are there are there are couples that. Yeah. I mean, I was I'm not gonna. I was at a party. I was in Chicago doing this, whatever convention, and I and I met these two celebrities, mm -hmm. and uh, I was talking to them at the bar, and like one of them films in Vancouver for like six months, and the other one films and I was like how do you guys make that work it's like well you know we they've been together 18 years and it's like well you know we do our own thing we figure it out so, so I don't know what they do exactly but you know 18 years unless they probably just sound like a, like a partnership slash friendship you know what I mean mm -hmm. it's it's, yeah. uh, it's mm -hmm. different and um, I can't wait for somebody to love me enough to let me cheat on them <laughs> <laughs> you know you can let them cheat back nah but you see so you you would want to be so able to cheat but, you yeah. but not what you Cause I'm also not like super interested in dating somebody famouser than me, so like uh, since I'm famouser than you, I'm finna live this life. <laughs> what word is that? Famouser. Yeah, I wasn't sure how to spell that. Hey, I, I, I think like it's it. famouser. It's yeah, famous. famous. And then dash er. I thought you were yeah. saying yeah. finisher. Like, no, no. Mother combat. Do you have a Do you have a lover? Nah, no? I take many. No, I'm just playing. You take many? <laughs> nah, I'm 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 very single. You're very Absolutely single. Absolutely. What are you looking? What are you, and, and what are you looking for? Um, you know, on some on some real like I just like companionship. Like I want to go to the yeah. aquarium. I've been wanting to go to the aquarium for like. Speak it into months. existence. I just want to go to the aquarium with somebody. I just want to go to the aquarium. I just want somebody to hold my. Like, what, do you, what do you want? She's like, I just want somebody to take me to the aquarium. <laughs> like, the, like the bars love. No, no, no. And, not, and to get my cheeks clapped after. But let's I want go. the. I mean, mm. before or after. So, but yeah, also, I really want to go to the, the aquarium. She's clapped after. Wet before, wet after. You know, yeah. we stay wet. Hello. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dive in the ocean. You know, marine biology. You know what I'm Come saying? On. Trying to save somebody. Let's go. I'll reproduce. I'll make somebody. Do you feel like you're single because of the work? Oh, absolutely. Is it, is it work that keeps you single? talk about everybody. Absolutely. Everybody at this table is fine as hell. Who is going to let me come hang out with fine dudes every day? Like, who is not going to feel insecure about that? Like, it's yeah. a very uh, interesting industry to be in because you have to, I would have to be with somebody who's very secure, but also not nonchalant because, like, you got to be a little bit spicy. A little jealous? A little zesty? Just a little bit. Like, little hot, little hot Cheeto? Just a zesty. little. <laughs> little. Little hot, spicy Cheeto? Like, a little, little crunchy? Like, Give you, you know, diarrhea later a little bit because nah, of stress? But, like, you know, if he see me out with Nizel, I need him to be like, you Think about Denzel a little bit. Uh, like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 What about you? You got a girl? You got a nah, girl? I'm single. I'm, in the, I'm for the street. I'm in the hole. I'm watching. All the streets or just like the. the no, the one way. Cool. Yeah, cool. nah, you know, ain't no, ain't no U turn, no cul de segment. It's straight. It's just straight road. <laughs> no oh. offense to the to the to the two way traffic. I was thinking more like the hood <laughs> sure. or like the bougie streets. But oh, I'll make sure we're on the same. You know, it's LA. You gotta make sure we're on the same days. <laughs> 
You yeah. like it out here? You live out here? Yeah, I live out here. You like out here? I love you it. You just moved out here. Yeah, oh, yeah last ago? September. Oh, wow. I, I've been out for like 10 years from New York. That's dope. See, you, from New York to Cal, that's not, that's not really like, I feel like it's not like a big, like. That's not really. You know, it's everybody told me I would not like it, but you like it? I love living mm-hmm. here. It's a good quality of life. See, yeah, my time, I came from 3,000 people to this, so. That's like I was, yeah, yeah. 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 we small, small. I lived three stop in, I lived in New York for three years. Yeah. And. I loved it because the comedy scene out there oh, dope. is it's great. fucking it's insane. It's fantastic. Like, you, can, you can get up in a, five times in a night. In, a, in right. the same night. Everybody and just, says that. And it's great. Right. And I feel like I always tell people, um, there's a comedian out of Seattle. Quentin, shout out Quentin. Shout Qu- out Q. Shout out Q. Shout out Q. He just moved from Seattle to, or sorry, Washington to New York because of that reason. Because he was like, I just want to work. Like, I want to workshop my yeah. material. I don't yeah. want to worry about, like, when you come on Chaka Sundays, because Chaka Sundays is a stage, yes. right? Bro, you first, can't you can't come up here and just try I, to I got, work I got stuff on, out. I got on this show because of a vouch. Because I opened for D. Ray Davis occasionally, uh-huh. and I remember I was coming here to see a friend of mine. He was doing the first impre- He was doing a set here, and then I was finishing up a weekend with him at Brea, and then I was like, "Hey, dear, I'm gonna go check out this my friend's doing." He's like, "Have you not done it before?" I was like, "No." And he's like, "Hold up." And he picked up the phone. He called Pookie. No way. He goes, Pookie. <laughs> he, goes, Pookie. he goes, Pookie. You gotta put this guy on. I showed up. And the friend I was going to see, I bumped him. <laughs> I bumped him. I felt so bad. They put me up, and I crushed it. But I was so nervous. Did you he know, know that you bumped? Yeah, he know. Yeah, because okay. we're, we're like we're like best Bro, buds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a coincidence like that. I was just going. To, I was just coming to show love. I haven't been here before, and like. Gotcha. And then uh, D- D-Ray got me on here, and then I killed it, and then they bring me back every once in a while, which is That's nice. Dope. Well, shout out to Pookie, and also shout out to your friend that you bumped. Oh, Pat Quinn. I'm sorry, Pat. <laughs> shout out, Pat, man. Shout out, Pat. <laughs> 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 no, but you know what? That's a real friend. Like, yeah. somebody who understands that, like, you know, it's business, but fought, also, dude. like, love. <laughs> it's also love. We sorry, fighting, we, we fighting right after you get off stage. We, we, were, we were being rude hosts. Do you guys want anything to drink? You got your water? You yeah, want anything I, to drink? Yeah, I'll take some. He pronounced drink wrong. We meant drink. I ain't, I ain't got my card on me, but no, I'll take good. a uh, good. Just, just had to get out of the way. Um, yeah. Can I get a uh, crown and Sprite? Crown and Sprite? I like this vibe. It's very Lucy Goosey. I like this podcast. You say, you say Callie's Lucy Goosey? No, this is Lucy Goosey. Oh, the vibe. Callie is the cool Callie vibe. Is man. We just, we just talking. Just hanging out. Can Callie I get a drink? Is, <laughs> let me get all three cameras. Callie's this is a, tight. This is a full you party. Can that, you can pull it off. Kegels. Shout out to Kegels. Absolutely. You got a girl? I'm dating. You're dating? I'm dating. Seriously? Yeah. Somebody seriously? Why are you yeah. nodding so much? Are you trying not to get in trouble? <laughs> no. How long, how long you been with? It's going to be edited um, out. I guarantee you. A couple months. A couple months. It's like right, it's still in back. that, that you phase. You saying I love you? Jeez. It's, it's, it's getting, getting there. there. It's like After kinda, a couple you months? Could, you know you can see it in your eyes, but you don't want to say it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I feel like yeah. that's the Are you like brushing hair? Out of her face. <laughs> I'm not a hair brusher. I don't know what you mean by that. You ain't serious. Right. You suck toes? Cool. Said, no, I don't suck toes. Oh, I don't yeah, yeah. Can, you can be single for a long time. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I believe it. You spin in anybody's mouth? Right. You go. That's I have. Have. have you? Oh my god! <laughs> I have. What you we, think? I mean, it was powerful. Yeah, it, it make yeah. you. It, it make you feel like I. For me, when I do it, only under the, I, I can't do it like just sober. I feel like I, be just, gotta, yeah, I gotta be on something. I can't just, yeah. I ain't gonna spend your shit sober. Like that's just, you no, just nasty. Because you, you, yeah. you're thinking like, damn, you, you think I'm about a, it. Like I do sober, like, I'm a like, wild I'm about to spin, I'm I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spin your mouth. You did it sober. I did it sober. And was it, was it still light outside? It was dusk. Oh, it was, it was dusk. dusk. Oh, was that wake up? Thank you, Chelsea. But I also did it like to somebody who I wasn't really being intimate with, yeah. and I was just like, "Dang, you a hoe!" <laughs> you <laughs> and him, that's crazy. That's you and him, him. Why you, you let you do his that? Mouth. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't think I would let nobody spit in my mouth. No, that's you sure? Some people yeah, would think it's like wild. degrading. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But, but if you're like the that. degrader, some people then it's like not that. Amen. Yeah. That's not on you. Yeah. That's not that's a lot of power. One Some girl. people do like it. I mean, I mean, I spent a couple miles, you know. Same. One grass with a pee on it one time. Oh, playing. you didn't do it. Nah, I couldn't do that. You couldn't pee or yeah, like no, I, no? I just didn't have to pee at the well, time. Not, he yeah, was like, "We're like, gonna yeah. lose a deposit on this hotel." Yeah, like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> was, 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 <laughs> hilarious. I laid out these plastic <laughs> sheets. <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 now, was at, her, was at her place And she like I want to tell you that Something that turns me on I'm Like okay go ahead uh, And then she said it 
But I had just peed. Like if I uh, like if I had to pee, I probably would have like. Everybody got a little dribble left. I'm saying I, if I'm gonna do, it, I'm gonna do it. I, but I if want, she likes it, she probably wants a strong. She yeah, wants she a, want a strong stream. Yeah. yeah. Why she wants did a you splash do this back. here? Because you wanted a splash. You no. probably wanted. A, <laughs> you could pee anywhere, and you she probably wants the face. to. Probably wants to sh- like hit her in the mouth and then splash out. Absolutely not. Like chin. Absolutely not. Chin chest area. What she told me. Nope. Yeah. Oh no. Yes. No. No. So what? Let's get back to comedy, y'all. We're talking about comedy. <laughs> Shout out to Laugh Factory. Shout, Shout out to Laugh Factory. Sunday school, right? <laughs> Sunday school. Honestly, it goes any direct. We, we can talk about anything. Yeah. Um, this is the best room in LA. Absolutely. This is the best room in LA. Oh, fast. Yeah, yeah. I do this show. I feel like a rock star at this show. Yeah. Every other, any other show? Bro, they fucking love you. I I'm, I don't know what this this show for some reason yeah. they, they they really give it up for me because I, I perform all over LA but this room mm-hmm. you know I have a was secret. this was this your this wasn't your first it's time not my second time this is your second yeah, time yeah, yeah. okay the first and time how I, many how many times have you gone and then we'll get back okay, to like, uh, I don't know maybe like seven or eight seven or eight so point. you're number two yeah tell us about that oh so the first time I did the uh, impression first impression first impressions okay. uh, that was in December and for those who don't know what first impressions is that's when like chocolate Sundays, you get on a list and you'll wait on the list for how two, many three years? How many years? Well, well, yeah, it's usually like two, three, but I'm, I'm gonna be a little bougie. When, okay. I, when I signed up, I asked somebody if I was from here, so mine took like two and a half months. Uh, Talk your right. shit. So, now, skip the line. Yeah. Now, getting vouched for is not a common thing, so comics at home, don't be thinking yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. about to get vouched for. If, like, you, got, if you get a vouch, man. it's gotta be a big vouch. It's gotta yeah. be a and, big vouch. Like D Ray, you know what I mean? Like D Ray was my vouch, and that's yeah. a big vouch. Yeah. And if I fuck that up, no more vouchers. No more vouchers. Yeah, and they're gonna tell you if somebody vouch for you like the the total. They'll tell the person who do like the live. If that person is terrible, you you have no more vouchers left yeah. in your pocket. And right. so he called and told me, he said, "Hey, nigga, don't mess up my my credit." That's I got you. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I recommended one person for Monday Rays, my buddy Denny. And I told him, I said, "Listen, bro, I'm, I'm gonna recommend you." I said, "I was like." But you really have to kill, bro. This is because he was my first recommendation to yeah. Monday Rays. Yeah. And thank God he, he knocked it out of the park. But oh, God, I thought you were going to have a I, I, I wanted it to go the other well, direction. Well, you know what's interesting? I had one friend. Yeah. He hit me up, and he was like, hey, how do I get booked on more shows? And I was like, you know what? Just DM people. You never know. He DM'd D-Ray. <laughs> and D-Ray put him on the Monday race. And then I told him, I said, are you sure you want to do it? Are you ready to do this? Because if you don't do well, like. That's it. That's it. And then he did it, and then I said, how'd it go? The next day, he go, how'd it go? He goes, it didn't go good. Ah, man, that's... <laughs> that was it. That was it for him, bro. I told him, I said... It wasn't, it wasn't when I thought it was <laughs> No, sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. You got to be self-aware as a comic, though. Absolutely. Like, if you don't know where you at, you just... When I first started doing comedy, I wasn't saying yes to everything. And people yeah. were like, because I already had a little social media buzz, they were trying to book me for stuff that I felt like I wasn't qualified for it yet. Right. Like, I was just like, yeah, nah, I don't... But real quick, you said you had a secret. I do got a secret. It's about you. What is it? Um, I actually was at your your filming with Takara. Um, oh, yeah. I, the last one. I was at all of them. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. I've been like low key following you oh without following you. That's what's up. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm a big fan. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. I thought that show was gonna change our lives, bro. I really thought it was. My manager was like, "This is it." Uh, my uh, my last man was like, this is it. This is going to be big. I thought so, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, social media has done more than a TV show, that TV show ever did, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. But also both phenomenal growth for both of y'all. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been incredible. Well, it was good because it, like, uh, teaches you, because I was really nervous about that show. I was anxious. I'd never been on TV before, so I was really stressed out. And then you kind of realize, oh, this is... This is all right. It's not. It's not. As, it's just one mm-hmm. other. You know, if you do a one, if you do a TV spot once, you'll probably do another one in the future. And but just, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what you really have going for you is like people feel like they're connected to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's the whole goal. You, you're so personal, like, and, and I feel like that's what social media does Good. on accident. You no, just no, accidentally no. showing them people. He's he been doing this the whole time. Like, you can put that motherfucker out. <laughs> I, you know, I, just, I know, I know. I just feel like, I just feel, you know. I'm sorry. No, you're, I'm right, sorry. you're right. You're right. Because he said that. He, I just like, like to be like different. It's a, like, it's some wine. Guys. I just like He's to be comfortable. different. He's <laughs> comfortable. Nah, his hand starts to do that. That's what kind of happened. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm just trying to, hey, it was arm day today, okay? Um, so, yeah. Wait, how long is the podcast? We just go until the show starts. About like probably like ten more minutes. Oh, okay. Cool. Ten more minutes. Um, we could switch since we're this What's isn't your? live. We can. Oh, okay. Real quick. Sure. So there's like, like this is the the trending section. Oh. Okay. So just shit that's going on in life, um, and we just talk about it. Right. So one of the things that I saw online was this woman in Texas. She yeah, got pulled one. over by a cop, 
and for going in the carpool lane with just her and her fetus. And she was arguing that, well, now oh. there's two people in the car, so yeah. technically I shouldn't have to pay this $215 ticket. And she said yeah. she's fighting it, too. And she's fighting she it. She said she's fighting and it. And it's like a thing. And she was like, I don't want to really make it like a political thing, but I, I, yeah. there I'm, were two people in the car. I'm with her. I, I feel I'm like, with I feel her. like she, they should throw that away. You're with her just immediately with her? No no questions, uh, so, no follow-up questions. Well, first of all, I mean, listen, I don't want to get all political. I, I, I think this the whole Supreme Court thing is... Ridiculous, okay. and uh, I think she should be ridiculous too. Right back at him. <laughs> I'm gonna you know match I mean? your energy. You know what I mean? You want to match? You want to match? Yeah. You want to do this? I'll match your energy. Well, then I feel like I should be in the carpool lane all the time then, because my titties weigh exactly hey, as much hey, as newborn. That, that's, I'm saying that's how you feel. And I feel I like mean, I should get away with it. They, this is a heavy burden for I'm me. I'm saying you probably got back pain. I yeah. do. You probably got migraines. Hello. You, is that, you get migraines from having big titties? I feel like it. I don't know, yeah. but like the constant strain <laughs> on my spine is gotta go up to yeah. my head. Like it's absolutely. Gotta, that's a month, that's a lot. No, I'm with her. I nah, think she should fight that. High, that's, high blood. that's the kind of shit that could go all the way. That could that, a little court case like that could. Uh-huh. It's it could combat the you know that decision the that they made. You know what I mean? But they reversed it. Then Joe. Then Joe come in and, and well, they 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 like put some. Stipulations on? <laughs> I got you. All right. You the mic out? <laughs> no, it's just Hey, that's what I was saying. No, they, uh, I think he put some some safeguards in place, but it's still very sus. Like, yeah. it's, it, it's already started happening where people, like, had to get an abortion, otherwise they would die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, they now they got to wait for the doctor to call an attorney mm-hmm. to, like, get mm-hmm. an okay because, I don't know. And yeah. not, and not to change it, you can't even, like, if, let's say a girl get pregnant in Texas, you know you can't have the abortion in Texas. Well, how it was, mm. you came and drive across to Louisiana now and get it. Because that's what I did one time, but they even took that back. So that's how I knew after it provided <laughs> to make sure I can't make that same mistake twice. But yeah, so <laughs> they took that back too. So I don't know what to do now, man. I, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm bro. from California. Wear a condom. What's up? Huh? What's what? that? You said you said you don't know what to do where, now. I where, said where, 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 where a what? That's like eating turkey. Where a what? That's like eating turkey bacon, bro. What now? Where in the condoms like eating turkey bacon? Like have you like, have you have you ate turkey bacon? Unfortunately, it's healthier for you. Yeah, it's all nasty. that good stuff. Uh-huh. And it's nasty, right? Have you had real bacon before? <laughs> Come on, man. Don't be no real bacon. You crazy? It's true. It's true. <laughs> is, it, is it? Wait, is it true that this is from the female perspective that? If a girl doesn't like you, she'll make you wear a condom. Oh, is it true? You just gonna be behind the camera and not. I've heard this crazy. rumor floating out there. I've so, I've heard it. <laughs> I've heard whispers. So um, on behalf, girl, you, girl, you know it's true. <laughs> Go ahead. On behalf of all women, I just want you to know we are less likely to put the pressure on you to wear okay. a condom if we like you a lot. However, comma, huh. we usually will suggest it just to like seem like we're not a hoe, but like you could probably maybe convince somebody to not if you're cute enough. You ever, you know the Patrice O'Neill joke from that sp- elephant in the room? He goes, "My protection is I go I go like this." <laughs> I said, "Please not AIDS." And he walk in there. You hear that joke? It was so funny. R.I.P. I just be hating like when I do go raw and like the condom be in my pocket. That's like the worst thing for me. Like nigga, I had it. Ain't like so ain't like I didn't have it. Like it's in like it's in my hand. I didn't, I didn't hit a girl with the condom in my hand and still ain't put yeah. it on. Like, do you guys uh, out the rapper too. help out when there's condom issues? What you mean? What do you mean? Of course. What's the condom so issue? like you've never had a condom get lost in there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that oh, that's way more common than we that thought. That means it's too big. The condom's too big or the, I mean, the tight? No, it could happen is like I zip tie mine, so I'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cock ring at the yeah, there was a, I, remember, I remember in high school there was this guy he like didn't ha- he didn't have a condom so he hooked up with his girl and used a zip, zip lock, lock back. Yeah. Did you hear about that? Like, what? I was like, how? How could you, you do hold, that? You, hold, you you put it in the middle and you you like, and you zip it up. Yeah. Is it is it the zip lock where you put it together or is it the zip but lock how could with you the lock? Feel, you know how could you about? feel anything? You know, which is protected though. <laughs> you so then you're just doing it. Just yeah, you just in, in there to be in there. Chelsea's like, face. Okay. Chelsea's <laughs> mortified right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just in there to be in that motherfucker at that point. That's I'm wild. already here now. Nah, shit. I'm, what is, man, what a bag. That's, That's wild. Let's get that is wild. Yeah. At this point. Is it the freezer size? Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, different size Ziploc. Yeah. Now I feel like uh, women should have like more input on what kind of condom y'all pick because sometimes y'all be cooking stuff that don't help us. Like, like yeah, oh, I got the ribbed ones, like the for her pleasure ones. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah. You're doing something right. Go ahead yeah. and sing again. Go ahead. Do the rib song. I get the rib condom so you feel the vibrations. Rib condom, you feel the erection. Rib condoms hey, hey. get the satisfaction yep. tonight. Yep. She gonna bust the nut tonight. Remix. Ooh. And I go wrong. I go raw remix. I go raw. That's a new jingle for Trojan. I I really appreciate that. We have a sponsor tomorrow. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Trojan sponsor us. Amazing. Oh wow! Written and directed by me. Oh, I I do want to bring up something. Um, there was you do. Yep, go go. Okay, there was um. Little baby had a concert and somebody ran up on the stage, touched oh. little baby, and then got yeeted off the oh, stage. Oh. Somebody pushed this man so hard, oh, I was scared his for like his on spine. The, on the yeah, oh, he yeah. almost took this man to a whole nother life. Big, big swole, dude. Yeah. yeah, like I but, feel but, like people. Little are, baby or the baby? Lil, little baby, little okay, baby. Okay, I'm right. glad you know. Yeah. yeah. No, my girl, my girlfriend just turned down a job for the, the baby. Yeah. She was supposed to do makeup on a music video, and then, and then she and then she was like, I can't do it. It seems like a dangerous lifestyle. Well, yeah. no, because he, she just you know she, he just got too many like uh, mm. problematic issues, and she was like, yeah. I, I can't be associated yeah. with that. Is what yeah. she said. She's like, I can't be yeah. associated. With it. That's fair. Do y'all yeah. feel um, any kind of in danger when you're on stage? Uh, I don't, cause I'm I'm just singing. I don't know. I, I feel like I get away with so much up there. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. feel like any like the drunk girls are gonna be like, oh my god, play the guitar on my titties. I mean, like, I like know. that. That's spicy. That's not. That's not <laughs> dangerous. That's, that's, that's not. First of all, <laughs> that's, that's, not, not, that's no. not dangerous. But I will say, I I do get afraid sometimes thinking about like how somebody could just come in with a gun and just light it up. Even like with the baby, like the guy got close, like God touched him. So like he had a knife, he he could have like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, he could have stabbed him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it feels like, like he got close. It feels like our job getting a little dangerous. I was at a, a show a couple of days ago, and a, a lady was like, first of all, sir, you're not gonna say that." And I was like, "I don't know if this is gonna go from like you just yelling and but now to like escalation. yeah, to yeah. you trying to actually run up on stage. Like yeah. mm-hmm. that's such like a crazy new fear unlocked." I don't know why people think of, like we got no respect in this job, bro. <laughs> we don't. Not only that, you, know, you never notice how celebrities when they don't, they can't do anything else, they start doing stand up. It's like everybody ends up here. They think everybody, gets, you know, like Stormy Daniels. Ti. T- I mean, he did. I actually saw him. He did. He did great. I, did so I job. watched him. I actually watched him on his second time out here. Yeah. At uh. I saw him at Crack, him up, at oh, crack yeah. him up. Yeah. When he was doing like the smaller room, and it was good. It was he did good. well. It was man. a good set. He did you know well. what I mean? Ran the light. But but I, yeah, I, but I also think with time, he'll... Every time I've seen know, him, he ran away. Yeah, yeah, I, I, just, I just feel like, to see he's been like, you know, the thing with comedy is just the hardest thing is get, like getting your stage presence, like being who you're yeah. off stage, on stage. And shit, he's been rapping, so ain't that much... I mean, it's different, of course, but mm-hmm. as far as like stage presence... But he has that stage presence. Yeah, he, already, yeah, he already got that. You know what I'm saying? Does. So it's like, and then he don't give a shit. So it's like... <laughs> it's <laughs> I think it's an amazing you know, storyteller. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's yeah. just too long, but shit, yeah. yeah I'm, it's too long. <laughs> but I think... Also, you add in his accent too. Everything. Yeah. It's the Everything whole. Yeah, it's it. whole thing. It's but I wonder good, if you're friends good, with Ti yeah. and like he tells a joke that's not good. Like, can you tell him like, hey? I no, don't know you can't. That, you can't be like, because you know we have, have you friends had, and be like, I don't know if that was good or not. Nah, I, tell he's, him like he's, he's got probably, a whole TV show where people try to tell him that he's doing stuff wrong, and then uh, he argues with them, and then he wins, and they yeah. keep on doing the family hustle. That's he <laughs> don't he don't tell Ti. The cash cows. I mean. For me, for us, for them, that's either cash cows. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. You shaked it off like you agree. Yeah. Like, mm. oh no, it don't make, it don't make it right that he oh. that person. I'm just saying, mm. but shit, that's my friend. He got the money. Shit. I mean, I ain't gonna be no yes man, but shit, my little joke ain't gonna <laughs> ain't gonna. No, when I'm making steer all the, the ship money, the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. You just gotta keep it keep on the course. Yeah. When I'm making sure. all the money and I'm cheating on my man, like I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> don't talk back to that's me. Right. <laughs> I said we having oranges every night. Like don't don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> we have an orange. We're having we're, we're having oranges every night. Oranges every I night. I like vitamin every C. Night. So okay. do you. <laughs> you. You ain't peeling off the skins with the pulp, goddamn. Yeah, yeah exactly. you're doing too much. Yeah, trying to have. Um, freedom. last. Okay, it's not last question. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. You walked in, got distracted. <laughs> uh, you have a joke. Suspect as fuck. Suspicious as fuck. Suspe- yeah, suspicious, suspicious as fuck. Suspicious as fuck. <laughs> Where did that originate from? Like, were you at the airport on a plane and it no, just came to you? And I, uh, I have the same question for you. Sometimes like, you're like doing, uh, that, you worked on. that just sort of came up in doing the crowd work I do with the guitar. And mm-hmm. then I was like, I should turn this into a legitimate song like with a hook, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. And then I put it on a t-shirt and I, I, 
it's the the t-shirt and the bit work so well together because i you know i right after the first show i made an extra 200 dollars outside just like some okay, t-shirt entrepreneur you know and you. you figure there's another show right after this i'll probably sell another 200 dollars worth of t-shirts right mm -hmm. somewhere around there and if i do that even like three nights a week here in la and I, you know here in la it's, I was worried it would seem tacky, but I was like, you know what? Fuck that. Fuck it. Like, if it's an extra thousand dollars, you know, you make mm -hmm. it's whatever. You know what I and mean? And then merch online, online digitally. digitally. And they could buy it online too. And yeah. it's like, that's a car payment. Yeah, everybody say that right there. They could buy it online, right? Yeah, go to, go, to, go, to, go to my app, Morgan J, and you go to yeah. my little link tree. Got all this stuff over there my special, the, the merch, and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Perfect. But um, yeah, so, that it, so then I turned it into a song, mm -hmm. and that was it. And I realize people like something they can sing along to. It's a song so. like you can like download it. It's a song. Uh, n it's not online yet. I do have two albums online um, hmm. from old stuff, but uh, none of the new st that that stuff is new. That, that you know, that's not online yet. Okay. But coming it will be. coming soon. But it will be. This year I'm gonna record a special and we're gonna put that on there. Hell yeah! yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Dream collaboration mm. comedically. Ooh. I'm gonna say Lil Dicky. Ah, Lil Dicky seems like dope. a natural. Uh, that's a great uh, one. Uh, him, he's great. Yeah. I mean, and then Jamie Fox. I, I mean, mm -hmm. he's incredible uh, musically. Like, I just love to work with him somehow. You know? I love connect with Kev. Kev yeah. Hart. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kev Hart. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. Yeah. Act like stand up acting. All of it. Okay. And we yeah, will. We will. Mm -hmm. We gotta visualize. We will. Listen, you guys. Oh, acting Denzel though, for sure. Denzel. On his own with Denzel. Oh, uh, Michael. Uh, Oh, not Michael John. Oh, Denzel's son. I like Denzel's son. Yeah, yeah. Denzel. Well, uh, John, John. Yeah, John David. Yep. Yeah, I like, mm -hmm. I like John David. Yeah, I like John David. Yeah, for sure. Amazing performance. It's great. Yeah. Well, that's all we got. Unless you got that's more questions. That's all we got. You good? Yeah. You good? I'm great. Okay, I'm good. perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for hopping on to the podcast. Oh, the for Sunday sure. School. For sure. We for appreciate sure. you. Sure. Um, real quick, just at this camera, if you can give your socials. Yeah. So we'll go you, you, and then uh, right. we'll wrap. So you can, oh, you want to go? No, wait, go ahead. We'll go this way, or, or is, <laughs> go yeah, ahead. Perfect. Uh, you can follow me at Morgan J J A Y Morgan J. Ask the Bass Playtime S H A B A Z Playtime all together. How how'd you get the nickname Playtime? By the way, uh, I played sports in college. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I play basketball. Yeah, so and they just come with like playtime. So I was like, I was like that. You know, Magic was Showtime, but I had one what he had because of the situation. So mm -hmm. I went with playtime. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. You chose your, you chose your name. Hey, hey, it's the, I'm, everybody, I might have chose that. It might have been given to me. It's, That's okay. If you, if you was yeah. there, hey, if you was there, you was there. I, I, got, yeah. I got a follow up question. Why do y'all both have on two chains? Specific two chains. Um, you know, I, my, my, my mom gave me these chains because you know what happened. I had like a fake gold chain. And we were FaceTiming, and she was like, "Do you wear that out?" I go, I go, yeah. She's like, "Don't do that." <laughs> people know. People know. I said, "People aren't gonna know. They're gonna know." You come back home. I got some. I got some real stuff for you, and they they, they iced me out. She gave me this, and I was like, and then immediately people started noticing. Like that really sparkles. I was like, oh shit. Um, but but yeah, I started wearing a chain like that. Uh, mine is uh, you got the picture on there. You my, yeah, my auntie, she, my auntie passed away, uh, and she's like my favorite person. So I feel like this one's not real because I feel like people should impress me for a memorial piece. Like it was fake or not. It, it's, it's, it's not for show. It's just to rest it, my my auntie. Mm -hmm. And this one. I think my mama had got like a uh, a credit card from Zales, from and she had to like buy something like to get like some cash back or something, and she just bought this from me. So mm, I don't know if it's real or not. It was in the Zales like little box thing, but it, no, my mama. Ate. Yeah, moms are the best. Moms are the best. If it's moms real, are she's the, the best. best. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I didn't start trying to dress well or, or wear nice shoes until I started op opening for D Ray. Because every time I'm like, these crowds, these audiences are different. You got to show up like. Correct. Absolutely. I realize. So I, now I always have a uh, clean pair of sneakers in my car. Mm -hmm. You know, I started wearing a nice watch and shit. And like, it's that snapshot judgment. Yeah. Yeah. I will judge you. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. and, I, and I never really took that to in, into consideration. And, and it's, you got to look good on stage, you know. Man. You do. So presentation. I can't get two chains. I, I had get to, lost in these I had to learn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. I had to. I had to learn the hard way. I, I used to be like bummy on stage. Like I wear a hoodie every day. Right. Yeah, I didn't give two shit. Mm -hmm. I did shorts a couple of times too. I ain't even yeah. I heard that was a comic oh, no, on, man. Like man, if you shorts on stage man, for guys. I heard you no. Know. You, well, you know, I, I was listening to an interview with Sebastian Maniscalco. I don't know if you know who he is, yep. but, but he was talking about how, like, on stage for the special tapings, he'll try to wear something kind of flashy, something interesting, because like 
if you're flipping through the channels, if it's if it's on like Showtime or HBO or wherever it is, if you're flipping through the channels, you might only have like three seconds to draw this person in. So if you're wearing like something kind of interesting, mm-hmm. it might not even look good. But 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 you know what I mean, right? If you're wearing something interesting, it's like what this nigga got? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, what the fuck is this? And so, so they'll, they'll stay for a second, and then they might watch the rest. It's these little yeah. things that you don't even think about. Well, it better be funny. Yeah, you catch them, you, you yeah. might yeah. just catch them off the outfit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. so. I mean, look at the like Eddie Murphy specials. I mean, when when do people oh, dress like dress like rock stars like that? It's been nobody, you know. Nice. Fashion and so, comedy. Also, like I do shows in like the alternative comedy community, like these like other shows, and like nobody dresses up, and it's like mm-hmm. all the comics are like, I look weird and stupid, and like I'm a nerd, and it's like why why like you could dress nice, <laughs> you could dress up, you don't gotta be like you don't have to do a that. Bum. Yeah. You're coming from a place of privilege because you make money doing comedy. <laughs> now I do, yeah, for real though, yeah. Mm-hmm. When I did, I, I was doing a hoodie every day. My my friend was like, "You dress like you're studying for midterms. Like, what are you doing?" Damn. Yeah. So that hurts. Yeah. Where um where can we find you guys working out? Oh, just uh, just while, you know, because uh, you're both here in LA, like yeah. based in LA. Chateau. Yeah. Uh, That's out in North North Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. Lappers, uh Burbank. Ha-ha. Yeah. Haha, of course. Uh, D-Ray, D-ray I, I have D-Ray's. done yeah, that a okay. couple of times. Yeah. That, yeah, I'll do, I'll do the improv uh, every once in a while. West Side, I'll, I'm officially like past there, so I do. That's the only club I'm past that, so I'll, I'll do show, shows regularly there. Mm-hmm. And then the other club in Santa Monica, the West Side Comedy Theater. West Side, yep. I do that one a lot. And mm-hmm. then there's like backyard shows and things like that that I do around LA. So that's cool. Yeah. I just want to let you guys know that Rich also does comedy. Okay. <laughs> We're getting into it. Let's go. Okay. Getting Let's into it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So we're working it out. All right. Thank you for letting me know that. Calvin. Yeah, I feel like you're going to cut that out, but uh, no, Rich definitely good. does comedy. <laughs> for sure. Awesome. Well, we are happy that you tuned into this episode of the Sunday Scoop. Um, please remember to like and subscribe and follow these two amazing comedians. For sure, for um, sure. Please support comedians, support the Laugh Factory, support Chocolate Sundays. Yes. Um, where can we find you, Callie? Um, I'm Callie Scott. It's K A L I S C O T T, and it's L I K E S C O T. It's like Callie Scott on every platform. I'm going to just okay. give you a clean version of that real quick. I'm sorry, on me. I'm Callie Scott. It's K A L I S C O T T, and it's like Callie Scott on every platform. All right. Perfect. And you can find me uh, at Rich Made That One. So Rich Made That, and then the number one. And that is your episode of the Sunday Scoop. See you next week. All right. Goodbye. Amazing. Pleasure. Thank you, guys.